back in the zone. We're talking about the second annual Prince George's Film yes, Festival. It's a four-day celebration featuring film screenings, keynote speakers, expert panels, so much more. Keisha Mason, Director of Marketing Communications, is joining us now to tell us all about it. Welcome to the show. Okay, so hey, who's going to be there? What's this about? Thank I know you. it's a big deal. It is, it is a big deal, Maureen. So yes, it's the second annual Prince George's Film Festival. We are so excited to be back for another year. As you mentioned, this year is bigger and better. We have community screenings, free community screenings. We have panels, we have workshops, we have keynote speakers um, and our celebrity ambassador. On Rucker. Um, we also will have Lynn Whitfield at our closing celebration brunch. Um, you know, it's the 25th anniversary of Eve's Bio, so that significant um, film and the, the cultural impact. And so we can't wait to talk with her to get her insights um, on everything going forward, networking. I mean, this is going to be a time. And the whole purpose is just to connect. Um, and support our local filmmakers because Prince George's County, we are booming with yeah. creative energy and especially um, around the film industry. You know, Keisha, I wanted to ask you that because the local aspect of this is really fascinating to me because, you know, we see a lot of films on a global scale with these big movies that come out all over the world. But then when you have something that's dialed into a specific film festival, I'm just curious, what are, what are the majority of the themes you're noticing in the stories, maybe from last year's festival to this year's festival? What are filmmakers talking about uh, in this festival, particularly in their movies? Yes, I think definitely we have a diverse selection of films um, and all different type of stories that we're getting and, and perspectives um, around, I would definitely say around um, systemic oppression, um, definitely uh, also thrillers. We have thrillers, we have animation going on, a lot of feel-good stories as well. Um, so it's a wide variety of film selections as it um, relates to our local filmmakers. Um, our opening night, our pre-festivities, uh, is featuring uh, Million to One, and that's by Eight Picture House, a local uh, production company in Harold Jackson. Um, and that's just a feel-good film. It's just a feel-good film, family-friendly. Um, and then our opening, our official opening night, uh, tomorrow at the Center for Performing Arts at the Prince George's Community College, where we are premiering uh, The Deadly Getaway. And that's another Prince George's County filmmaker, Tressa Smallwood, and that's a thriller. Um, and then our last community screening uh, is on Sunday, and that is another Prince George's filmmaker, Jimmy Jenkins, and yes. that's the comeback. It. And yes, and that's a documentary about um, Thomas Pullen, which is a Prince George's County public school. Yeah, we had so Jimmy we're Jenkins. just excited. Jimmy yeah. Jenkins is a great filmmaker. I think we had him on Good Day a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, he's a really that. talented yes. filmmaker. Yeah. I'm happy to see that he's still now, doing amazing work. Now, Keisha, uh, yes. <laughs> you know uh, I am so in love with the aspect of having a Prince George's County film festival and highlighting Prince George's County as a backdrop mm -hmm. to shoot, as a location to shoot. Can you speak to how important this film festival is in pumping up the film industry for Prince George's County? Yep. Yeah. Absolutely. And that is uh, a foundation of, of the film festival is really to highlight Prince George's County as a filmmaking destination. Um, we have diverse communities. We have all different type of, of, of settings here. We're close to, to uh, historic landmarks. And on top of that, through the Prince George's Film Office, we make it so easy for you to come and film. We help with location scouting, with permits, with fees. And so all of kind of that red tape and bureaucracy that you kind of have to go through to get get permits and, and get permission to film, we assist with that. We want to make it so easy yeah. for filmmakers to come in here and, and do their creative work and we can help with the rest. Gotcha. Um, in addition to that, we give grants out. So all, yeah. all of the feature films, um, the local films were a part of our, their grant recipients, a part of our grant program in which we, through the county as well, has helped support and, and funded their films. It's so important for love the it, local. Love local. It, love yeah. it. We want to know if the DMV zone can come out on Sunday to the Lynn Whitfield thing. <laughs> oh, of course, Joe. You better be there. 
You better be there. You are. You are. I'm the host, actually. And I just got invited, so I'll be there too. Kevin, we got to get you out there too. People come out. Kevin, you got to come. All you all can come for sure, for sure. Thank you, Keisha. We're out of time. Thank you, Keisha. Thanks for supporting local filmmakers. Shout out to Rhonda Dallas, the CEO of the Film Festival. Thank you all so much for doing. Shout out to Tedris Williams. There you go. At Bowie State, Tedris Williams from Bowie State. Trust Smallwood too. Everybody, shout out. Oh, and my high. That you know, that's my high school friend. That's my good friend from high school. I just saw last night.